All right, it's Bowser time. Let's see what's gonna. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen this time. It's this one. Boah, this is my kind of town. I'm gonna open my own store and cr right here, and I'm gonna crush the competition. In other words, he means literally crush the competition. And it had to be that shop, of course. Boah, for now on, this place will be my shop. Stop by and I'll sell you plenty of great stuff, whether you want it or not. Yeah, basically, that's the other event that he'll pretty much do on almost every board except for his. Basically, he'll, he'll replace one of the shops with his own, and the first person to stop by his shop will basically have to buy whatever he gives you. He will give you two two items at random. The first one will be a, Bow will be a Bowser statue, which basically does nothing, and the other will be a Koopa Kid orb, which will basically... Which Koopa Kid will steal and basically put a Koopa Kid space. And they both cost 20 coins and you're not allowed to back out, so... Yeah, you might want to be careful when you visit the shops. I think that actually is a pretty good placement. That actually could help. That actually kind of helped me. But poor Yoshi and Dry Bones, I have to say. Poor them. Like, they had a chance. And I know Waluigi and Birdo probably had a better chance of getting it, but... Still, that sucks. Like, just one space away, and the star's just right there. Like, I feel the pain. I've had that happen to me so many times before, where I'm just right there, and then someone st steals the star from me. Like, it sucks. I, I I, feel their pain. At least I went past the Bowser shop, though. At least that's a good thing. I'm getting rid of this, just to make sure. Just to make sure I don't lose any orbs if I ever go by that shop. And I might as well mention that shop will not disappear until someone actually goes by the shop so if so say I don't go so say if none of us ever go by the shop it will still all it will still be there so yeah that can be a problem but anyway I got the new space of this game the mic space if you're familiar with Mario Party 6 Mario it brought yeah it introduced a new thing called the mic and basically you could play mic mini games but in Mario Party 7 they brought it back, and they turned it into its own. They not only have Mike mini games, but it has its own space. Its own space where basically you can bet coins for double or nothing, kind of like Game Guy, except all the, you only play one mini game, and it's memory based. So yeah, to anyone who hates Game Guy, don't worry, he is nothing like Game Guy. However, this will get harder and harder. Well. The further place you're in. That was Apple. Yeah, the, if I was in first, it would be much harder. I'd have five to memorize. I really hope I don't screw this up because I will lose all my pretty a lot a huge chunk of my coins. But I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I might as well mention I do not own a mic. So if you don't own a mic, basically you have to go into the options menu. And then set it to press R. So basically, I have to press R and then choose an option. So that's how mic mini games work if you don't have a mic. And all that money. All that money. How much coin? How many coins do I have? 233. Dang. God dang. Like, that space is immensely helpful to land on. And they're in every board, so... I recommend going landing on those spaces if you're on the if you're if you're in a lower place and not in first. Oh wow, we had two. We could have gotten two repeats, but nope, nope. I'm I'm liking this. We haven't gotten a single repeat, but this is easily the hardest mini game to play for me. Like controlling Mario and Wario, basically I have to. You basically have to move all the way to the end with the C, with the control stick. And your partner has the C stick. This is gonna be real tough for me, considering well, I have to hold both of these at the same time. All right, all right, all right, all right. But at least the good thing about the for us is that the computers will always fail. Well, fail once at least. Up, oh, I actually had it. I I could have had. No, wow, never mind. Yoshi and Dry Bones didn't mess up. Good job to them. Like they really need it. They really need it because they have not been doing well at all. Like, 
they've been getting shut down. Like, I feel bad for them. They've been getting shut down. At least the item shop that I'm going by doesn't have the Bowser store, so I don't have to worry about that. And they're landing right there. All right. But I better make I better make sure I get that star. I better make sure I get it. Because that's going to be insulting if I don't get it. And it's right there. And I'll have no one to blame but myself. For the most part, anyways. As long as I don't get a two or a three. But now that I said that, I probably will. But if I do get a two or a three, then I'm just going to go on the other path. Uh... Let's put it here. I'm going to put it here. That's a pretty decent placement to put it, to put your orb spaces, for the most part. At least I think it usually seems to work for me. Gee, I wonder which way I'm going. Because I was debating, do I want to have the chance of playing a dual game? But no. No, I, I'm better off taking the star. I'm better off. And now I'm back in first, so we finally caught up. Wow, it's right there. Like, it could be anyone's. Ocean Drive ones actually could get it. I don't know what the, this one is. And I don't want to risk a duel and lose all my coins. Even though we haven't seen any duel games yet, I don't want to risk it. And another Piranha Play, why not? I mean, a half, co a half coin steal is great to have instead of just a coin steal. Even though the coins still would be nice, though. Like, I'll, I'll take any coins. You're not... This is why you guys are in last. This is why you have not used the magic orb. Why have you not used it? That is the best orb to use at this point. I guess you could be saying it for the bridge, but... I don't know, that's kind of stupid. But anyway, we have Fun Run. And I'm controlling Wario for this one. I thought it was Mario, but nope, I'm Wario. Basically, you have to move around and press A, and press A, and basically you have to jump over the spiny, the spiny shells, and the disappearing, well, not the disappearing platforms, the, yeah, well, the falling platforms that, that appear, well, when we get halfway into this, after we get out of this tunnel. And yeah, you don't really need to jump, but most of the time, you're better off jumping. You're better off jumping most of the time. But yeah, here are the disappearing plat panels. You just don't you don't want to step in them. And this is the la last thing you need to watch out for is the the mystery boxes. I'm gonna call it. Basically, don't stop in time. You're gonna get blasted away, and you're pretty much gonna lose. Especially on this difficulty, you get hit once, you pretty much lose. But thankfully, I didn't, and we did it. Really, three milliseconds. Three milliseconds from my new from my, from my record. Come on. But at least I won the minigame. I'm glad I won the minigame, though. Like, we've been losing a lot of them. We've been losing quite a lot of them. We need to get back on the streak. We need to get back on our streak of winning. Minigames, at least. Are they gonna get 1-1? One, 1-1? One? One, one? <laughs> Knock out all the multiplayer DK minigames in just one board? That'd be, that'd be sweet. Not gonna lie, that'd be sweet. Wow, they land on their own space. I'm actually mad that they actually landed on their own space. I'm mad about that. I can't believe they actually did that. But I kind of want to stay away from that trap. I don't remember what it is. Ah, uh, dang it. Dang it, I don't want to get closer. I don't, I, I don't want to get anywhere close to that trap. I don't know what it is. Could be a spiny, could be a twister. I don't know what it is. Wait, did they... No, they didn't. I was hoping they landed on my red space. This would actually be a good time for Drybones to use the Magic Orb, like, next turn. Like, it'd be a good time for him to use it. And, hey, our first instance of a Mike minigame. Well, not including the Mike, the Mike game that we... The Mike space. And this is the first one for the four players. Tar dart attack. Basically, for me at least... For me at least, I have to press R, and then click on fire. You get five shots, and whoever gets... The the biggest score at the end wins, and and this mini game also goes in tor turn order. So since I'm, th I was third in the I go third in the turn order. I go third. Well, I'm the third one to go up. And Daisy got 
A hundred. All right. Yeah, this mini game you kind of want to wait for the ten panel to move out the way, like to get the best score possible. You kind of want to move, wait for that one to move in particular. But anyway, they got a hundred. Well, both of them did. I want to aim for the. Fi I want to try. You you do get fifty. Yeah, you also have to watch out for the time limit. But are you serious? Oh, wow. I wow. That was terrible. That was terrible. Abs- wait, are they gonna win? Are they gonna win? Are you kidding me? They're gonna win. Are they gonna t Wow. Um- <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I lose to Waluigi, Daisy, and Yoshi. By the way, if you get- I hope you get the reference that I lost to Waluigi, Daisy, and Yoshi. To other Mario Party enthusiast Let's Play channels or just collab channels in, in general. But hey, I'll take your coins. I'll take your coins. 39. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, I actually did some, I actually did some, well I guess, not really did, but I actually decided to look something up like, I, I wondered who voiced who voiced the characters in this game. I I never knew besides well Charles Barnet voicing Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. Like I wanted to know like for some of the other characters. And apparently Peach, Toad, and Toadette were all voiced by the same same person. I don't remember her name, but they were all voiced by the same person, which was pretty shocking to me. And in, and the new voice actor for Peach, for Peach, Toad, and Toadette is yet again the same person who does them. So that's really weird. Like I, I found that a little bit weird. And of course, you heard a door. God dang it! Oh well, at least it didn't really interrupt. <laughs> that it, at least it wasn't that big a deal. At least I hope it wasn't a big deal. What's this? All right. Okay, it's where? Where am I? Oh, that actually helped me. Thank you. Thank you. That actually put me closer. Thank you. Actually, I mean, I missed the shot, but I'll take that. I'll definitely take it. Uh, dry bones. Yep, he's using it. All right. So basically, what the magic orb does. Well, besides getting doubles, is basically not only do you does it multiply that roll by two but you also become invisible for two turns so they can't use any other movement orbs and how many coins 51 i think wow i have 300 coins 300 coins i'm hoping to get 500 not now i'm hoping to get 500 now that I made that joke before, I'm really hoping by the end of this game I'll have 500 coins. Well, five to 600 coins. Now I'm hoping. Ah, uh, our first repeat only took us about 13 turns, so that's actually pretty good. Our first repeat is on the 13th turn. Of course, of course it's the 13th turn. But let's win this mini game. Let's hopefully win this one. Because I want to redeem myself. I want to redeem myself, especially against Toadette. My god, Toadette. Why, why are you doing this, Toadette? Why are you... Why? Alright. Alright. Alright, I also like how the Ukikis are making the rope spin. I really like that little detail. Alright, who's getting out first? Oh, they're... Oh, they're oh. oh, wow, Dry Bones. I thought we were all gonna tie, but nope. Drybones survived. Wow, I did not expect Drybones to survive. Oh, it's the fourteenth turn fourteenth turn. Never mind. Never mind, actually. That's surprise pretty impressive that we didn't get a repeat for fourteen turns. That's pretty impressive. And we managed to get about 16 or 15, I don't know, maybe about 16 or 15 mini games. Well, new mini games with no repeats. Ah, I was hoping it was up there because he would have gotten on 
on the Tower of Pe Pizza, I think it was called. Yeah, I messed up in the last video. It's called the Tower of Pizza. 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 Or pizza. I don't remember. I don't remember the exact name. I don't remember how to pronounce it exactly, but that's actually what it is. I made a mistake. I said Eiffel. I said the Eiffel Tower. And that's in France. Me being stupid. But anyway, I'm actually gonna go on this happening space. And I got the fireball orb. Alright. Alright, we saw in the shop before. I want to be close, but I'm not going to be able to use it next turn, so I guess I'll just go here. Basically, this is a warp. It will warp you to a random space. Oh my god! <laughs> what? That was the most pointless happening space in the world. That was pointless. Why did I even go over there? What was the point? What was the point? What was the point of that? There was literally no point. Oh, wait. Did they get it? Whoa, did they actually get it? Wow, they actually got it! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit surprised. And they got a spiny orb. Crud. But wow, they actually got it. Good job to them. They finally got a star. Good job. Good job. You're finally on the board. Finally. Now all I have to do is make sure you get another star. And unfortunately, your magic wand is gonna run out after this turn oh my god <laughs> wow game just wow yeah I think that's probably Daisy star oh they got a hammer bro dang it they don't need coins they're already gonna get a star they don't need coins and I thought Waluigi is gonna be my big competition but no Daisy and Toadette haven't started to prove themselves as a threat and Yoshi and Dry Bones could have a comeback. Like, don't can cancel them out yet. This is Mario Party after all. And they may only have one star and the least amount of coins, but they can't they can't come back. We're only about halfway done with the game. But anyways, Pokey Pumble, send the Pokies flying by whacking them with your hammer. Basically, button mashing. I'm not gonna lose to you three. I'm not losing to you three again. I will not lose to you three again. I will not. Go, go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, no, no, no. Oh my God. Wow, they actually beat me. What is this? What is this? Oh boy, like, could this be a comeback? Could this be a comeback? Who honestly knows?